We're, we're back on Varsity Live. We're already having a good time. Is this, Trevor said you wanted to read a tweet. Is this it's like, actually, mean, is no, this like a, mean tweets no, on it's, uh, the it's late a, show? I, I apologize. It's a text message from Cameron Miller. Oh, okay. Who says, tell Moda he did a great job at Stanford this past weekend. He's way better than me when I was a sophomore. Oh, so, very nice. Go, Cam- Cameron Miller, former all area runner of the year, giving some shout-outs to Marcus Moda. Hey, ask, ask Cameron what he feels about college athletes being paid. No, Cameron, don't, what no, do you don't think do about that. that? Don't do that. Yeah, don't don't, don't do that, Cameron, or that will take will up the rest block of the show. You, bro. <laughs> uh, we welcome into the studio here three of the top cross country runners in Kern County: Cagney Duncan from Liberty in the Marcus, central section. Let's get it right. Okay, fine. in the central section, Marcus Moda from Stockdale and Moises Madrano from Highland. How are you guys? Good. Good. We're, we're all good. Well. Yeah, we're all we're tired. We just said we're tired because we got out of class. But you're not tired after you run, you know, three miles or whatever, or you still keep doing it. Uh, so. I guess that's the first thing I, I always like to get into is the mentality of a really good cross-country runner. And I think, uh, and Cagney, we can start with you. You have to be willing to put yourself through some pain, don't you, to, to, to succeed in this sport. Yeah. Um, what? <laughs> it was Cameron responding to you. Okay, we'll get to that later. Okay, so yeah, I'm, um, yeah, running is really physical, but it's also mental. And once you get past that mental barrier, you can realize how much you can push your body to, um, what would you say? boundaries you didn't think you could before mm-hmm. and so that's what really I did last year and I think that's why it helped me so much is because I was able to push past that and then I was able to run way far way faster than I thought I could yeah and obviously your times have improved this year too and you've set some lofty goals I know and we'll get into that Marcus for you for you it's the same sort of thing you're younger but it, I mean at some point you realize the limits you thought you had maybe are not the limits you really do have right what do you mean? Like, as far as how fast I can go. I can't possibly run that far or that fast, that, that fast, that far. Um, but, but then you realize at some point you can break through those boundaries. Exactly. Most of the time I just think, like, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> well, what do you think? What, <laughs> yeah, what's going through your mind? Especially what, what like at think? Stanford, you're, you're running against some of the best competition in the state, and there you are 35, 40 seconds ahead of them. What's going through your mind when you're running into that, in that type of race and you're looking back and going, there's nobody near, near me? And there's nobody in front of me. <laughs> well, in my head, like during Stanford, I was thinking of getting a 1519 because uh, of a former Stockdale student, Blake Haney. I was trying mm. to break his time. Who? Blake Haney. I don't know who that is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a, that was a joke. That was Cam- a bad <laughs> joke. <laughs> Cam can get into that one. Uh, <laughs> and, and and Moises again, a terrific year last year, trying to improve even more. And uh, timing is so much of it, and how you feel is so much of it. How are you feeling uh, halfway through this junior season for you? Uh, I'm feeling really good, like a lot stronger than last year, a lot more confident in running three miles in 5K now. And yeah. Just just, just doing work, right? Uh, looking at some of the numbers here, and I don't understand what Larry Lung's decimal points mean and all that stuff. I, I, don't, I don't either. I don't you? get it. But, uh, but nope. hey, Moises, you're number three in the section with a 1.67, whatever that means. How's Is that, that like an <laughs> average of how many times that you've taken first compared to what you finished second It could third, be, but that doesn't, wouldn't make a whole lot of sense because some meets are much more difficult than others. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know why. Anyway. Uh, but you know what? I, I got to give him credit because being able to have rankings of this nature oh, great. for cross country is great. and It's not the norm around the state. So being able to have this conversation and be able to kind of, you know, give these athletes the, you know, the chance to, you know, shine, it's good. Uh, and Cagney, you're number two in his rankings in the central section, and number one in Division II. Uh, what are some of your goals for the rest of the year? I know you told me earlier that they're pretty lofty. I mean, you want to do some good things this year. Um, definitely just want to be able to PR in each of my races by at least, like, 20 seconds. And that's most of what I'm going through because, like, in my races I'm running against the clock and I uh, don't really have anybody to run with. So that's how I get through them. And then definitely um, I would like to place well in uh, Valley. I don't really know how I do because – I. Mean, I mean, this year we got bumped up to D2, and the past three years I've been running in D3. Right. So it's kind of one of those things I'll see what happens when I get there. I can't really figure out really where I'm going to place. And then definitely just want to be able to do really well at state. I would love to get below a 1730. Mm-hmm. I got 1749 last year, and that's basically what I'm going for this year. Have you had any races where you have been pushed? I mean, I don't, I don't know what your schedule has been like where, where you've – you've you've had to sort of run that best time um stanford pretty much was the yeah. one that really got me um had an amazing runner from oregon with me um we ran together pretty much the whole entire race until like the last 300 and she um she passed me she's a really good runner mm-hmm. and um but without her i wouldn't have gotten the time i have but normally in my other races i've been either getting 40 or 
a minute ahead of the rest of the pack. Right. And so, but that's good for you. I mean, yeah. even if you end up losing that race, it's good for yeah. you to have that experience and to get yeah. pushed that way. Uh, Marcus, how about you? We talked about Stanford, but um, what what are your goals for the season? Obviously, you still have a couple years to go in your high school career, but you're already doing such good things. You mentioned Blake. Is that sort of, in Cameron, is that sort of the, the guys that you measure yourself against at this point, looking back at past Stockdale runners? I absolutely measure myself with them. And, like, the goals that they've accomplished, like, I'm trying to – like try to get with like where they've been and maybe even try to get farther to like higher standards even though they set up pretty high bar so i was gonna say if you're running where those guys are you, you are going to do some really good things mm-hmm. in the next couple of years so that's part of it too uh moises how about you what, what are how about goals for the rest of the year here um for this year really i just want to focus on getting a league champ with the team and also hopefully as a team make it a state so do my part in helping get, get the whole team there well, that was one thing for Highland last year was, you know, the first I – th- I think we came to the conclusion the first boys track and field championship in Highland uh, – league championship in Highland school history. Mm-hmm. So being able to do that, obviously, you, you, being able to kind of put your stamp on two different programs like you guys do, um, that's obviously for you, Moises. I mean, that's a big thing. Do you, do you take a lot of confidence and a lot of pride in being able to do that for, you know, a school that's been around for 46 years now? Yeah, I feel really proud to be part of that, but it's the whole team. Like, track, that was a lot of us being dedicated and encouraging each other to keep coming to practice and working hard, and we hope to do the same thing in cross country this year. Right. Um, I know Cagney, you're kind of going against the clock, like you said, but, you know, Marcus, you got Robert Sagasta right there with you week in, week out, and I know you didn't run yesterday. Um, Two-part question, are you healthy? And then, two, how much fun is it to be able to have Robert right there with you during these league meets to know that you're going to get that competition during the week that you're also get on the weekends? Well, yes, I'm I'm healthy. Just had a small setback, but I'm I'm okay. And I'm I like I like racing Robert. He's exciting to race and just have a lot of fun in the league meets. I think you're going to have excitement in cross country. People don't realize it's a little bit of an under the radar sport. Um, how did you guys get into it? Uh, Cagney, we may have asked you that question last year, but uh, it's it's usually not your first choice when you're a kid. It's, you know, some kids say, I want to play volleyball, I want to play basketball, I want to play football. I don't want to run forever, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so how do you get into that? Um, my dad was a runner in high school and college, okay. and, uh, yeah, ever since I was younger, I used to watch him run his races, and I always had the idea, like, I'd like to be able to run long distances and being that little person, like, oh, Cagney's the one that runs, you know, stuff like that. Right. So, um and it was something that kept me busy, kept me out of the house and, you know, uh, just keep me socializing. And uh, I just ended up growing a passion for it. So that's basically how it came around. Hey, man, Shane's still running around at every one of her meets, I'll oh. tell you that. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be running the uh, coaches race at um, EV uh, Santa Barbara. I see, it's the only way he stays in shape Maybe. is by coaching, right? And then he's got to keep <laughs> running with you guys. That's yeah. <laughs> or he keeps in shape because of it. Well, yeah. yeah, either or. Marcus, how about you? I mean, both of you guys are athletic looking. How, how do you get into cross country over other things? I mean, there's probably other sports you could have or did play. Well, the reason why I got into cross country is between or from my, my father. He ran in high school and college. Okay. And I just saw my brothers running it in, at a very young age, and I saw my brothers swimming, and I saw like their passion that they had for this, their own sport, even if it was different. And then I kind of wanted a passion for my own sport. So I started different sports, and then I realized that running, like I did pretty like well in. So I just started um, – I kept like taking like, it to the next level. Yeah, I kept yeah. taking it to the next level. And then do you eventually. still swim? Me? Yeah. No. You know. Okay. I was gonna say, running three miles is hard. I'd rather run three miles than swim five hundred meters. Yes. I think. That's that. That's just another level of brutality. But I was just saying, my brother swam. Yeah. And I just saw. How I, I just wondered if you had followed them into, into that as well. Moises, how about you? How, what, what's the the nexus of your cross country story? Um, with me, when I went the elementary, I went to is Chavez. Uh-huh. They really encourage kids to go out for a track team so that was like a big deal at our school and a lot of the older kids there kept telling me come out and I did go out because it was like a social thing and all right. your, my friends were in it I was the sprinter at first that didn't go so well <laughs> and the um, rest is, but that does show that you've got that that kicking ability which comes yeah. in handy sometimes yeah. I think uh, more than other more than other runners. one last question for Cagney sure. Cagney I know obviously you want to be an architect have you kind of laid a blueprint and figured out what college you want to go to, or is that still an ongoing process for you? Um, 
Sorry. No, it's Dr- okay. Yeah. Uh, no, it's kind of funny because I uh, I changed my major the day after you asked no me kidding. that question. To what? <laughs> Environmental studies. Okay. All right. She ripped up the blueprint. Yeah. Oh. But I mean, I'm one of those people that really changes like their idea of what they want to do in the future, and um, I don't know. It just seems watch watch me change it again. It'll probably happen. But uh, I was talking to my dad about it, and it just seemed like all of a sudden I was like, I don't know if I want to do that. So. Okay. But I, I have time, a little bit of time left, so, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we got to get going, guys. I, uh, we got another segment to get to, but we really appreciate you joining us, and I'm sure we'll be talking to you down the road as we get into county championships, section championships, league championships, and uh, state championships. So, uh, Cagney Duncan, Marcus Moda, Moises Medrano, thanks for being here. Thank you Thank so you much. For having us. Thanks, guys. We'll be right back on B-Varsity Live.